again I want to be your friend I want to be your friend Hello, uh, I'm Andy Lorman here with Honeysuckle Hill B. Today I'm going to show you how to mix up your oxalic acid mixture using the insect fogger uh, to, for treatment of varroa mites. The important ingredients are, of course, the oxalic acid and the, uh, and the alcohol. So you need the 190 grain uh, uh, proof alcohol. Uh, I'm using this grain alcohol that's 190 proof. There's other types of alcohol that you can use as long as it's 90 proof. Uh, also, I heat up a pan of water because I find this the safest way to heat up the alcohol in order to dissolve the oxalic acid into the alcohol. The uh, mixture is 100 milliliters of alcohol to 25 grams by weight of the uh, oxalic acid and that's an extremely important ratio that you have to stick with uh, if you're going to use the oxalic acid in the fogger. So, uh, I've already measured out my oxalic acid uh, in this glass and then I'm going to pour my uh, 100 milliliters of alcohol and then you have to heat up the alcohol. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick up the heat on my burner here to heat up the water because it takes a little bit for the oxalic acid to dissolve into the alcohol. 100 milliliters in our beaker. There we go, 100 milliliters of grain alcohol. And I just uh, stick my beaker into the hot water and let it begin to heat. Okay, so I'm gonna measure out my oxalic acid using a scale and what a a, a pretty accurate scale because it's important to have the right amount of oxalic acid to the um, alcohol. So I'm going to measure this out. We need 25 grams of oxalic acid to mix with our 100 milliliters of alcohol. Sometimes you get some chunks, but that's all right. There's 23. Four. There's 25 grams of oxalic acid. And it takes a few minutes uh, for it to fully dissolve. So, and then I dump the uh, oxalic acid into the alcohol. And stir. Okay, and we just uh, keep stirring until the alcohol turns clear. The oxalic is fully uh, dissolved into the alcohol. Dissolved in the alcohol, then it, it stays clear. Uh, if you put it in a fruit jar with a lid, then it'll hold. like we're really close so it, it doesn't take real long I, I shut that off for a minute so you wouldn't have to just sit here and watch me stir this but that didn't take uh, any more than just a couple of minutes but I had preheated some of the water so I'm not sure exactly how long it would take but no more than five minutes for sure and I'm gonna say that's good and clear there of the alcohol and oxalic acid mixture. Uh, I like to strain it into the jar that I'm going to use on the actual uh, fogger just to catch any um, particles that may be too big or you don't want anything to clog up your fogger. So we'll just pour that right through the strainer into our little half pint jar that fits right on the bottom of the uh, the fogger. There we go. 
That is a batch of oxalic acid ready to go through the fogger. Now, uh, one thing's for sure, I don't like to uh, put this oxalic acid and leave it on the fogger very long because it can corrode and clog up your uh, fogger. The, the plastic parts inside can melt, so you want to minimize the time that the oxalic acid is actually in the fogger and then also take with you uh, distilled water to clean out the fogger after you've done your fogging. So uh, that's another video that we'll show here in just a minute.